Welcome back, you hear of Goldberg. We're here in our glorious American democracy, or, as many conservatives would say, I think you mean republic. Yeah, that's right. In any case, political science is a major. Is it worth your time, money, and efforts? Now, I don't think political science the degree is typically incorporated in those short lists of, you know, the top 10 worthless majors or lowest paying. They probably wanted to include it on the list, but as we know, the internet.com is frequently running out of memory, and so they have to delete content. Or maybe you could find some extra space in you know, AOC's ass. In any case, we're going to be going through some of the different professions just to give a sense of whether it's worth pursuing. You know, I'm not going to suggest political science is the most lucrative, at least to start with, but if you have some resourcefulness, you put in a little bit of grunt effort, especially while you're in college, you're not going to be without a job. I mean, you have to seriously screw up to go down that road. So looking at the BLS here, will be three different categories we'll talk about. Political scientists, which is going to incorporate essentially getting a PhD more than likely. You see a 6% growth rate, but only 400 jobs in this decade, so not astronomical. I would only advise going for a PhD in political science if you are really committed to wanting to do that, because a PhD in general is a lot of time and effort. It is potentially delayed earnings because you can't exactly work full-time somewhere else. You'll be working full-time, either as a TA, uh, doing all the reading and the writing necessary. So there is going to be a trade-off, uh, and that has to be considered. I threw this in because it is relevant being a fundraiser. Oftentimes, if you're like a finance director, development director, for a politician, that's what you end up doing. You make those connections, relationships. It could be a useful skill. Uh, you can sometimes end up going to work for a foundation later on or a corporation. So you see 14% growth, many more jobs projected in the future or in this decade. Lawyers, 4% growth rate, 32,000 jobs. Law, we'll discuss in just a little bit here. It can be good for the right person. The problem is a lot of people want to be lawyers for the wrong reasons, and they just end up making you know, poor choices. I'll probably you know, generate a video at some point specifically about that because it is quite relevant. This is going to be a general list, you know, probably more relevant if you're trying to go in the direction of the PhD with some of the top political science programs. Many of them, of course, are uh, Ivy League schools, but even if you go to like a public Ivy, that's probably decent. Regardless of where you attend, if that's your direction or if you want to go to like a think tank, get into the honors program. Do the thesis. Look if there's a way to get an internship, which will give you credit while you're going there. Uh, don't waste time. I'm just going to fritz and party because those are the people who come out and can't get a job. The ones who didn't actually um, put in some effort while they were in school. So it's always about... Yes, it's education, but it's also applying that in a work setting and, you know, volunteer work, whatnot, to show that you're more than just a piece of paper. Okay, so with law school, this is the tricky part. Don't go to law school if you want to just be a politician, honestly. You're better off becoming an entrepreneur or, as we'll just discuss in a minute, political assistant, political staffer. Political, or rather, sorry, law school is very involving. It is typically expensive. And you don't want to come out of that, have a bunch of debt, and not want to be a lawyer. So, if you're intending to go to law school while you're in college, intern in a law office or two, maybe different subsets of law, get a sense of what you really like, and maybe consider becoming a paralegal upon graduating. Don't fixate on, I have to go directly to law school unless you know this is what you want to do because... Then you get in there and you're kind of like, okay, I've put in all this effort. Do I complete it or am I kind of waylaid and now I don't want to? It's very costly, as you're going to find. So be careful with just kind of, oh, I have to do it because I want to be a politician or whatnot, or I want to be an advocate for the people. I mean, that's a noble cause, but you may not actually want to be a lawyer at the end of the day. So it's always about investigation. One thing you can do even while you're in college, before you go to college. This is Coursera. There are other sites like it. There are lectures on YouTube. Just a couple examples. Introduction to American Law, Law Students Toolkit, very useful. Introduction to English Common Law, American Contract Law, 
try out those courses. They're free or low cost if you want the certificate and you don't have to invest all that money. Even taking the LSAT is very expensive. So I'm just telling you, have a sense of how things are. There's a very good book, I believe it's called Don't Go to Law School Unless. It's a, you know, a few years outdated, but it's still relevant in many respects. He talks about you know whether it's worth taking the risk of going to law school. So I'm not hating on you if you want to be a lawyer, but make sure you want to do the granular work of being an attorney, not I just want to be on JAG. At that point, become an actor, all right? And there's much better ways to be a politician than becoming a lawyer, unless you are dead set on being a prosecutor, attorney general. Now, obviously, you'd have to be a licensed lawyer, but even there, you have to want to do that job. Do you want to be the, uh, the uh, prosecutor? Do you want to be the person who may very well pull dirty tricks just to get convictions? So it's always going to be an open question. Another option for political science is to go work for a think tank. In this case, I wouldn't mess with a PhD, honestly. Do your four year and try to get an accelerated master's program or maybe do one online once you graduate and you're working. And once you are in a think tank for a number of years, you can make six figures. It's not that difficult, especially if it's well funded. So uh, CAP, Center for American Progress, American Enterprise Institute, uh, International Republican Institute. I think it was like the Democratic Institute is the more center left equivalent. NGOs, there's a lot of places you can take that skill set where you'll be focused on something you're interested in, but it also pays well. Uh, like I said earlier, being a political science professor, academic, there's a limited number of slots. Getting tenure is difficult, and you have to want to mess with a PhD, which is kind of a pain because a PhD takes a long time. You may not really like the actual work you have to do to get the PhD. It will uh, really vary. But I think tank is going to be a little bit more cutting edge, a little bit more in line with what you're probably driven to do. Just my guess. I don't know you personally, but um, in any case. And then also becoming a political staffer. So you intern while you're in college, you could join a campaign, eventually become a field director, which is a poorly paid, but it's a good position if you want to get experience, get close to the candidates. And once you're in D.C., it's like staff assistant, I think legislative correspondent and the legislative assistant. Every time you move up, you're making more money. And particularly if you are on your knees in front of a politician, you're making even more money. There's quite a few cases of that. Uh, and then you can bounce from there to a lobbying office. You can go to another interest group, a lobbying firm, a whatnot, think tank. You're not going to be without a job as long as you're good at making connections and dealing with people. Um, and like I said, whether you actually pursue a political science degree or not, having those skills of uh, interacting with the people, networking, written communication, is going to be necessary. So don't just, oh, I don't need college because that's going to show if you're not just very good at teaching yourself once you get on the job and you have to like write letters or help out with legislation and whatnot. Uh, beyond political assistance, you know, and I should note quickly, if you're like a district director for the congressman or a state director for a senator, that can be a good way to build contacts if you want to be a politician yourself. So keep that in mind. There's always the option, of course, you can get a teaching license and teach civics, social science, although that is not one of those uh, positions where there's a lot of openings, at least not right now. So you might end up teaching ESL, math or science, English, who knows. But in any case, political science, it's not the most lucrative degree out there. But if you're uh, willing to put in some effort, like I said, it's not difficult to find a job. So any other majors or careers you want to see discussed, just drop them below.